Nikola Tesla once said the numbers 369 are the secret behind the universe. Tesla was a very curious person from his childhood, and was fascinated how small things produce big results. There's a story of how when he was a kid he went to a snowy mountain with his friends. The story goes that one of them threw their ball and it caused a mini avalanche, and ever since this moment Tesla was fascinated with how things worked, and it eventually put him on the path of wanting to understand the universe. This led Tesla to accomplish great things in the future, and it's reported that he was able to create a semi-earthquake by using vibrations on the 3rd of September 1899. With this technology, he was then able to do the same on the 6th of September 1899, and the 9th of September 1899. In regards to those incidents, he only reported that 369 was the key, and not only the key to certain inventions, but the key to the universe. And if people only knew about their significance, they would be able to achieve great things. After this discovery, it is reported that Tesla became obsessed with the numbers 369, and wanted to find out ways he could use them to his advantage. However, it's only fair if you present both sides of the argument. There are those that say Tesla was able to unlock these secrets, whereas others have said these are just stories and there's no evidence to back them up. The reason some believe it to be bogus is because Tesla was a good engineer, but wasn't good at selling his ideas, causing many people to come into his life and essentially copy his inventions and sell them as their own. With that being said, there are many that would have vouched for Tesla, and history has proved that Tesla was a man born in the wrong era. It's reported that he started to research the number 3. In fact, it's said by many that 3 is the base number of creation. Throughout the history of civilization, 3 has been seen as very important to culture, religion, and even science. It signifies unity, perfection, and creation, and it also represents the energy from the second day of creation in Tripod of Life, which is in the study of sacred geometry. Tripod of life are three circles and when they overlap energy is emitted. This energy increases our creativity and broadens our consciousness. Number six is seen to be twice as powerful as three, and nine is the jewel of the threes. Nine represents singularity as well as vacuum. Six contains the negative energies. Nine is also known as the seed of life, and is believed to serve as a blueprint for the universe and life. 369 is also considered by many as the mathematical fingerprint of God, and not in the sense of a being, but rather the sense of creation and everything that exists within the universe. Some may call this the universal consciousness, or the energy that flows throughout the cosmos. Here are some interesting examples. The circumference of a circle is 360, which is 3 plus 6 plus 0 equals 9. The angles of a square are 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, which equals 360, which is 3 plus 6 plus 0, which equals 9. In a 3D square, you have 8 angles, which add up to 90 times 8, which equals 720, which is 7 plus 2 plus 0 equals 9. Also, in a pyramid, there are 5 angles, which is 90 times 5, which equals 450, and 4 plus 5 plus 0 equals 9. More examples include the Sun, Moon, and the Earth, with the Sun having a diameter of 864,000 miles, and 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9. The Moon has a diameter of 2,160 miles, and 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 0 equals 9. The Earth has a diameter of 7,920 miles, and 7 plus 9 plus 2 plus 0 equals 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9. All of these numbers always equal 3, 6 or 9, or in some cases equal 3, 6, 9. And it's through this that Tesla discovered that the universe was made up of energy, vibration and frequency. 3, 6, 9 are the energy to form something, while the rest of the numbers 1, 2, 4, 7 and 8 represent the already in-existence ingredients for that something. Thus the structure of everything depends on the numbers 369, 
and it's only when you start looking at objects that appear in everyday nature that these numbers also add up to 3, 6 or 9. One thing that many may not be aware of is that Tesla was able to create artificial tidal waves. Artificial tidal waves known as tsunamis were researched to be used as weapons. It was to be developed as a tectonic weapon to unleash destructive tsunamis on the enemies, and it first came into being when an army officer named Gibson noticed small waves generated by explosions. The idea was then further developed under the name Project Seal by the United States and New Zealand military, and they found out the concept was doable, but no such weapons were made or used. The idea was tested by Professor Thomas Leach between 1944 and 1945, and British and US Army chiefs were eager to see it developed. A further research scientist said it had the potential to be as powerful as the nuclear bombs. The results were that small amount of explosives would not be able to produce a tsunami, but instead it required 2 million kilograms or 4.4 million pounds of explosives, and this was over 4.9 miles or 8 kilometers. Details of the experiment were released in 1999 by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and are now available in Archives New Zealand. It was deemed viable by several universities, but as of today there is no evidence or record of such a weapon ever being used. It's also led to other kinds of weapons to be produced as the military could not have accepted the losses. The bouncing bomb was made which contained 5 tons of explosives, and it was also created to explode in water. The bouncing bomb was unable to produce any tsunamis, but in some cases it could cause flooding. This is what happened when it was used against the Germans when it hit three dams and caused major flooding. Another interesting invention that's been linked to Nikola Tesla is that of the death ray, or death beam. It's been estimated by researchers that the death ray was first thought of in the 1920s and 1930s. Its main purpose was being able to take down enemies while the person using the machine was nowhere near them. It was thought to be made of particles which would then create a powerful beam. It was an electromagnetic weapon. In 1957, the National Inventors Council had added it to the needed military inventions. It's reported that Germany had two projects, and Japan had one to develop the death ray. Many people in the past have claimed to have invented the death ray, and these include Harry Grindel, Nikola Tesla and Antonio Longoria. All three had different types of death rays. Grindel's was allegedly able to take down humans, although further research provided that one was never created. Longoris could take down small pigeons and mice, while Nikola Tesla's was able to provide a ton of power and hit a tiny target. The most famous death ray concept was created by Tesla, and it's still focused on today. According to Tesla, if the death ray worked, there would have been no war in the world anymore, as each country would have been covered with impenetrable invisible walls, and no missiles would have been able to breach it. He called his death ray Teleforce and stated that it was incapable of killing any human being. He said that he had taken power from the Earth's ionosphere, which he called an invisible energy ball around the Earth. He'd also said that he'd reached the ionosphere with his 50 foot tall Tesla coil. The purpose of his death ray was to destroy anything that reached as near as 200 meters. Tesla also said he needed to build extra inventions in order to complete his death ray, and it would have helped the US armies to fight at sea. The researchers, keeping in mind the past accomplishments of Tesla, could not overlook the possibility of a scientific breakthrough by completion of the death ray. After a lot of effort, the researchers were able to find the power source that Tesla said was needed for the death ray. Interestingly, Henry Flair was thought to have also created one of these machines, and that he'd made a lot of people invest in his ideas. However, it turned out he didn't want anyone to see the progress of the project, and it ended up with them filing a lawsuit against him. The court was involved and Henry was told to demonstrate his death ray to win the case, and he did. His death ray was able to take down several reptiles and insects from 10 feet away. 
Interestingly, termites were taken out with a death ray within 35 seconds, while a lizard took 4 minutes and a snake took 8 minutes and 30 seconds. He won the case and was asked by the jury if the death ray could be used to take down humans, but he replied that he would not work in that area, but it could happen with increased power. Tesla is a true believer that everything is made out of matter. It all begins and ends with matter, and sound will never disappear once it's created. He firmly believed in the laws of creation and applied it to all his theories. Tesla said the following while being interviewed. I want it to illuminate the whole earth. There is enough electricity to become a second sun. Light would appear around the equator as a ring around Saturn. Mankind is not ready for the great and good. In Colorado Springs, I soaked the earth by electricity. Also, we can water the other energies, such as a positive mental energy. They are in the music of great composers or in the verses of great poets. In the earth's interior, there are energy of joy, peace and love. Their expressions are a flower that grows from the earth. The food we get out of her and everything that makes man's homeland. I've spent years looking for the way this energy could influence people. The beauty in the scent of roses can be used as a medicine, and the sun rays as a food. Life has an infinite number of forms, and the duty of scientists is to find them in every form of matter. Three things are essential in all of this, and all I do is search for them. I know I will not find them, but I will not give up on them. So what do you make of Nikola Tesla and his inventions? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.